We all know that freak athlete who has never touched a weight in his life but has an extremely high vertical. But what if I told you that that guy has trained at way higher intensities and with more specific volume than your typical athlete that does a lot of weight room work? Now, genetics do play a huge role in how high you jump. And it can be anything from how well you adapt to a training stimulus. It can be the length of your Achilles, your tendon properties, your muscle properties. Genetics can also affect uh, how you recover, how susceptible you are to injuries. But oftentimes we are really quick to attribute someone jumping high to just them having really good genetics, especially when it comes to athletes that don't do any kind of weight room work. And this is super, super common in the pro dunking world. 90% of pro dunkers that I ever talked to basically don't do any weight room work at all. And these athletes themselves say that they never trained, that they were born with it, that it's God-given talent, and they were just always able to jump that high. But just because somebody is not doing traditional weight room work does not mean that they're not training. I'm gonna explain how. So if you've watched my videos before, you've heard me preach the law of specificity over and over and over again. It's basically, if you wanna get better at something, you wanna do that thing a lot. When it comes to jumping high, the number one thing that you can do is practice max, approach max effort jumps as much as possible. What happens with athletes that have above average verticals naturally is those guys from a young age are gonna begin to jump more. Why? Because it is more rewarding for that athlete to jump, to jump more. If you have a kid that has a natural 30 inch vert and then another kid that has a natural 20 inch vert, jumping and trying to dunk and trying to touch things that are super high up is gonna be way more fun for the guy that has a 30 inch vertical. So just by their nature, they're going to practice jumping more. And by practicing jumping more, they're going to increase their vertical at a faster rate than the guy with the 20 inch vert who probably doesn't enjoy jumping as much and is not doing it as much. So it becomes a, a rich get richer type of thing where the guy who has a naturally higher vert is going to continue getting an even higher vert because of the frequent jumping. Now, max effort jumping, max approach jumping, that is a plyometric activity. And what's cool about plyometrics is that they self-intensify. This means that as you get better at plyometrics, they're gonna become more intense and it's gonna become an even bigger training stimulus. So you take these athletes out, by the time they get into like ninth, 10th grade, they already have a 40 inch vertical. Guess what they're doing? They're usually playing basketball every single day and they're trying to dunk and jump more in these games than their peers. So every single day, they're doing 50 to 100 40 inch jumps and dropping from 40 inches. Imagine doing a single leg depth drop from 45 inches. This is literally what LeBron did in this clip right here. And it's what LeBron has been doing every single, every single day since the age of like 11 when he was able to, to dunk. Now, I want you, after warming up and everything of course, jump off of a 45 inch box and land on a single leg and feel how intense it is. Your vertical would skyrocket if, if you do that plyometric a few times a week. LeBron is doing that every single day for years. The cool thing is, is that even if your genetics aren't elite level, you can take advantage of this by just practicing a ton of jumping. And as you get better, the jumps itself are gonna become an even bigger training stimulus for you. So next time, you know, you're scrolling to social media and you see some guy say that his balance was natural and he didn't work for it. Remember this video, remember, they are training by jumping, by playing basketball, all that stuff is training. There aren't athletes that haven't played any sports, that literally are couch potatoes, that have an extremely high vertical. If you are playing sports and you're jumping a lot in the sports, you are training. So hopefully this video inspires you guys to go out and have a dunk session and practice uh, jumping higher. No equipment is literally needed. You just have to practice jumping, that's like, Level one, the base level of jump training is just go out and jump a lot, guys, and you can get similar results from these quote unquote genetic freaks. If this video was helpful for you guys, make sure to leave a like. Uh, also leave a comment. I like having discussions about these topics. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And like always guys, go to thpstrength.com if you want me to personally coach you to jump higher. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.